situated on the banks of Jhelum River in Zainakadal neighborhood of Srinagar, is a 400-year-old workshop. The shop has played a crucial role in preserving and enriching traditional music in the Indian side of Kashmir. Gulam Muhammad Zaz, a veteran luthier, a craftsman who makes stringed instruments such as santurs, rababs, and sarods, dedicated more than five decades of his life to carrying on the legacy of his forefathers, who were renowned in the region for making traditional musical instruments. Today, Zaz is the only individual in the valley with the knowledge and expertise to repair and create traditional musical instruments. Because of the cultural practices, the father of three daughters could not pass on his skills to his next generation. Moreover, his relatives showed no interest in pursuing their ancestral profession. I cannot say whether anyone will be able to pursue this profession in the future. I come from a family that had a reputation in this trade, and that is why I chose to learn this craft. Kashmir is known for its skilled craftsmen who acquired various professions from the influx of people from Central Asia in the 14th century. However, after seven centuries, the region is witnessing a rapid decline in craftsmen due to the widespread use of machines and a lack of faith in the traditional methods. The Khosgar family is among those facing the extinction of their ancestral trade. Believed to have migrated from the Ottoman Empire, some 500 years ago, Khosgars were experts in creating herbal medicines and syrups for the treatment of various ailments. However, due to the decline in demand for their medicines, the current owner of the shop, Abdul Aziz Khosgar, limited his business to the extraction of rose water using old techniques. There is only one man left, and a few signs of the heritage, including vessels, jars and bottles. The shop now resembles a museum. Gulam Muhammad Wani, a mustard oil extractor, remembers the days when his town hosted dozens of ox-driven oil mills in the Papur area of South Kashmir. For a brief period, Wani tried other professions because mustard oil extraction did not earn him enough money. Eventually, he returned to mustard oil extraction out of love for the craft. Today, he has only a few customers per day, as people prefer branded products available in the market. My family urges me to quit, but I tell them that if I can make $2 a day, it will be sufficient for me to run the business. There has been no effort by the government or community to preserve these crafts. Local experts stress the need for the government to take steps to revive endangered crafts. There is a need to preserve and save endangered skills for which the government agency and other institutes should develop a well thought out plan of action and blueprints. Mohidul Islam for VOA News from Srinagar, Indian Administrative Kashmir.